Welcome back, Morty. I know you had a hardship on the journey, but you're not experienced enough yet. Come back, therefore you've had more experience. Actually, who's got the highest uh, experience points right now? Nobody has more than 100. It was Morty. Morty's been around and been doing more damage than everybody else. Huh. Okay, I guess it's time to go exploring. Kicking butt, taking names. How much food we got? 194 should be enough to get us around. As we just walk around shoving sandwiches in our face. Just like, om nom nom. Talk to me. Eh, ghouls. Let's see what we can find out about ghouls. More than 26 damage, we've known that. Oh yeah, I could have cast on dead. Kill steel. It will kill. Hi. Goblins. Missed. Uh oh. Uh, we got a fight on our hands. set up some kind of crazy formation. No, Morty, what are you doing? We're setting up a formation. Alien, you're not helping either. Formation! Get it together, people. Oh man, everybody's missing. This, this could be bad. Alright. Got a front line moving here. Oh, or you could just move over there, alien. That's fine. They did 10 damage. I think that's as much as they can do. Let's move over here. Alien taking the hits. She's not doing too bad off. Seven damage. That's the least amount of damage I've ever seen him do. Let's write that down. Morty's not looking so hot. That goblin's dead. Victory! All right. South, through these mountains, heading to this town, because this is where you get tools. Um, we could, 
We could offer it a horse. Would you like a horse? There are no horses. I think it ate the horses. Wow, this thing's like trash. I'm sad that wizards can't use uh, much more than just daggers. Like a sling? I could see a wizard with a sling. Alright, we are now in this new town. What's it called? Welcome to Grey. I think this is Scare Grey, but they just called it Grey. Please do not disturb the peace. Okay, we got a new uh, we got a new town here. So we went. Let's see here. So this town is gray. There's a guy here doing the floss. Hey, what's up, do floss doing guy? You can fly far away using the moon gates. Oh shit, I forgot about the moon gates. Um, I don't even know how to check the moon gates. Tell me about the king if you're from the castle. Oh, well, I mean, he's five foot two, and uh, he's got a big heavy crown on his head that's really gaudy for my taste. Uh, he's been to space. Did I tell you he's been to space? You know what space is? You know, in the second game, right before Ultima Exodus, you can go to space too, and you fight badass monsters out in space. Because Ultima 2 was a strange game. Oh wait, no, I'm talking about Ultima 1. Sorry, this is Ultima 1 I'm talking about. Ultima 2, you go around, ta uh, you go around time and the planets. So it's an even stranger game. Next question. Grocery store. Sure. Um, give me a hundred sandwiches. Anything else? No. Uh, there we go. Everybody's food is above 200, which is what I want. Is there anything hidden in here? There is not. Darn it. Missed. Uh, you talk to many girls, don't you? Only my mom and sister. Drinking is my life. Leave me alone. Um, I would like to talk to you. Hello? Pub, tin a drink? Nope, there's nothing you can tell me. Oh god, it's like this in the Commodore version too, where you have to maneuver past everybody just to get in here. Use the tent when you are tired, you can buy a tent at a shop. Really, how much? Um, welcome to the guild shop. What do you got for me? Five torches. We're gonna need like 20. Uh, magic key, which are useful. Gem, also useful, but uh, our wizard should be able to cast view before too long. Sands, so fucking useful. And tent, I'm not sure what tents do. We ought to buy one just to see what it does. You know what? Give me a sec.
I see nothing in here about tents. You know what? We have food. Let's buy a tent. Let's find out what this thing does. Anything else? Nope. Oh, uh, there's somebody over here, this fat guy. Better bring many torches. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, there is a, uh, a thing over here where you play rock, paper, scissor. And normally when I'm playing this game and I'm resetting the hell out of it, I will play rock, paper, scissor and just get all the money. Can't do that this time. Not an Iron Man. Because that's reset uh, abuse. Um, okay. Hi. Welcome to Grey. Do not disturb the peace of our town. Ooh, I beg my pardon. That's a lot of money in there. It'd be a shame if somebody came in and stole it. Actually, guards are no joke in this game. And I'd have to fight them both to get uh, all that money. Uh, it protects you from evil. What? Have you ever heard of the mystic armor? No. You can find it clues at dawn. Okay, so we need to find Dawn. We'll find it eventually. Back to it. Darn it, missed. I am Catherine. I cannot speak English well. What? Weapon shop, what do you got? Everything's pretty normal. I'm pretty sure it goes in order of, like, sword does the most damage, then axe, then sling, mace, dagger, etc. Let's take a look. While we're sitting back and looking pretty. Okay. Um, thank you for not telling me how much damage they do. Assholes. Apparently things get really expensive there at the bottom. Silver bow, sun sword, hail bird. Mystic weapon. But we don't want to get too many spoilers. After all, exploration's like part of this. I'm not really worried about spoilers, but 
I mean, kind of seeing what the game has to offer as part of this. Um, I take it your armor? Nothing new here. Jeez. 8,250. That's going to take a lot of grinding. We need to find an easy way to just steal. And, hmm. We might eventually. Who is Dawn and is she pretty? She's prettier than Sherry. Sherry has a big, freakishly large head. Oh. Hurts to swallow. I might have to take a short break to grab a drink. What's going on back here? Nothing. So that was Gray. How are we doing on food? Doing all right. Um, I'm gonna refill my drink. I'm starting to get a parched throat. I will be right back. the villagers you can do it you can destroy human civilization I am not ready to face guards and I cannot take this unseriously however uh, you should know that we've kicked out Rick so that happened month sorry I'm getting a blowgun, which is like the next step up. So that's like 350, I think it is. So let's get uh, 350 gold. Ooh, perfect. Ghouls. High school ghouls. In trouble. Holy hell! She wiped everybody out! Come on, bad guys. There's one. Get him! Talk. Hi! Whoa! We have a new, uh, a new critter. So, let's see what we got in these guys. Not sure what they're called yet, but...
I like their leotard. They're all left-handed. I just realized they're all left-handed. And you know they've got these, like, biker glove things going on that are fingerless gloves. You know that they're, do they're doing that shit, right? There we go. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna have hit points. And they're gonna have an amount of damage that they're gonna do. So let's see what we can find out about them. First off, does repel work on them? Yes, it does. Well, what was that? Orcs. Good lord, he's just knocking them out. Everybody's going after Morty. Well, that killed him. They do 10 damage. I just saw 10. Missed. 28. So larger than 28 uh, hit points. Two, two full moons. Huh, how do you like that? Uh, Morty took some damage. So did Elaine. Let's go ahead and make Alien a... Uh, give her some healing. And then Morty. There we go. Everybody's at full now. How are we doing on the monies? Still need more. All right, well, let's keep exploring. There's a river over here. Skeletons. I think we already know everything we need to know about skeletons. Groovy skeletons. But let's see if we can learn a bit more.
And she killed everyone. So, never mind. There's something over there. Let's see if I can figure out where that is. Looks like some kind of dungeon, I think it was. So let's write it down as one. I'm looking to see if I got that right. I mean, that is the proper location. No, it's right here. It's actually right here. So we got a dungeon right there. Has Lorena Bobbitt done anything yet? No, Lorena the Bobbitt has not done anything yet. So far, it has been uh, Rick and Morty. Rick got ejected for being useless. Less than useless. Um, alien... And, uh, we've just pulled in... God, I didn't even t take a look at what this wizard's name was. Oh, yeah, and Peter the Dwarf. Peter the Dwarf. have more than 31 hit points? Is that something that I've marked down? Yeah, they have uh, 47 hit points, at least. Have you given something, Rick something to drink? Um, well, he did talk about visiting Brewer, our uh, Brewer. But uh, no, we kicked him out when we found out his life choices make him less useful than a thief. Yeah, we already know that. Twenty six, we know that too. know they do eight damage. So far we're not finding out any new information about these schools. Ooh, 96. Fuck yeah. And I see two towns. Tasteland, how is female run going? It's been interesting. Okay, so there are two towns over here. And I want to know what they are. So, uh, I'm going to put this all on YouTube. So that'll be fun. Uh, you'll be able to catch up on most of it, but let me catch you up real quick. First off, there is only one cleric that can bring people back from ashes. And that's Brewer. But he hasn't isn't powerful enough yet. Since we can't make any new characters, that's all we get. Brewer's the only one. So he's made of gold, and he makes our beer. So we kind of take care of him. The other thing, Rick is useless. We kicked Rick out. Sherry has a freakishly huge head, uh, and she just apparently thinks the most of herself. Let's try to get to that town. I guess kill these guys too. Hi. 
Skellingtons. Well, so much for the Skellingtons. More Skellingtons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, they're the groovy skeletons. Look at them dance. Get a formation going here. Our wizard is actually pretty damn powerful. I already know it has more than 40 hit points. Grim, should I work tomorrow? Play any or play NES Classic? Well, considering that I don't have to be held responsible for your actions. Ooh, that's 19 damage. Wait a second. Did I do 27 damage to it last time? I can't remember. Anyway, play NES Classic. It'll be hilarious. Play Wizardry, the Dark Souls of dungeon games. Actually, like, one of the first games to have those fake 3D things. God, she is such a badass. Alien is a badass. Okay, that was 40 hit points. And now it's dead, so... No more hit points. gold we got 557 enough to get that blowgun for uh, for the fighter invite your boss over to join a two-player game that's true that's that would work so if the magic ashes dude dies are you fucked yes here get let me hmm, I can't save can I how do you save in this game I think you can only do it at the castle Oh, hey, yeah, while we're here, out and about, I wanted to try this out. Uh, tools. I think Elaine has it. Party rested. Huh. Didn't save, though. Okay, what is this place? Welcome to Montour East. Are you leaving Lipra? So... There we go.
Guess the name of the other town? Gee, I don't know. Hey, lady. So the way it worked out is all of the clerics that we have are elven, except for one dwarvish cleric named Brewer. Now, elves can only reach a maximum of 50 wisdom. 50 wisdom means that the most powerful spell that they can cast Okay, here, let's see. The elven clerics can only use large heal, right? So after that, map, can, uh, map, which shows like the entire world around you, banish, which is a strong fire fireball apparently, raise, which raises people from the dead but has a chance to turn them to ash, destroy, which destroys people, like it's a area of effect, and the most important one, Recall, uh, which revives a character who has been turned to ash. This spell right here is what makes Brewer so damn important. If Brewer dies, we can get him resurrected. But if Brewer turns to ash, that's it. At that point, nothing can be taken back. Everybody who dies and turns to ash is gone forever. Until Brewer gets this spell, we have to be careful. And we basically, we gotta get a shit ton of money together. And then we're gonna grab Brewer, level him up, and then take him out to Ambrosia and get a shit ton of things done. And Ambrosia, oh my god, I forgot about Ambrosia. Uh, the weird rules that I'm using, since I don't want to look up a map and just make my own map, is going to make navigating Ambrosia tight. So, okay. Alright, Monitor East and Monitor West are twin towns. You don't say. If you look at this guy, he looks like he's doing the floss. If you want a ship, take it. Alright. Welcome to Monitor East. Welcome to Monitor East. Apparently, there's nothing important happening in Monitor East. What kind of messed up games is this that elves get less wisdom than the other races? Um, let me take a look at uh, this thing right here. So let's see here. What they have is your race really only determines your maximum amount of, of things. This isn't your starting, but you can't you can't go up. What what is this thing you've linked to? Okay, it's soccer related. Fine. Chance in the box for Nkunku, touched away on the doorstep, and Nkunku nor Chopomoting can get it to cross the line. Well, we take a look at that dig, good pass from Danny Alves. Wait. A little bit of a touch there from the goalkeeper, and then, well, he looks like he was onside. Wait, so this what? Is fully on. It's literally on the line. Lillian Mbappe. In disbelief. It's literally on the line! Anyway, I don't know why that was important, but apparently you're watching it, so alright. That's cool. <laughs> he stopped the ball from going in. Was he supposed to? I didn't notice. I thought he was the goalie. His team would have scored. Ah, got it. 
So he gets lynched after the match. I understand. Fire Island is on the sea. It is at the edge of the world. Okay. And there's a lady over there. Let's talk to her. They say brave souls who are on the way to fight against Exodus. Uh, that would be us. Oh, are you one of them? Yes. We're four of them. Pub. Um, yeah, you know what? Round of drinks for everybody. Doesn't this ale taste great? We brewed it in a special way. Sure, give me another. No, not another drink. What? What kind of son of a... What? Is this Fire Island, by the way? This up here? Match, one of these days we should go hunting sea dwarves along the coast. I like the way you think. I'm going to assume this is Fire Island. Oh god, it's on fire! Fire Island is on fire again! It's made of tires! It just burns and burns! Why did we think it was a good idea to store all of our discarded f tires on Fire Island and then set it on fire? What were we thinking? What's going on around here? Yeah, it's an empty house. Good talk. The four marks shall save you. Do not be afraid. Be strong. I'm so scared of everything. I'm afraid of being strong. Does it hurt? Stop that old lady. Quick, talk to her. It's a fine day. Mission accomplished. Did you watch the saga of Pool Lagoon? Pool Lagoon? No. It sounds like something from South Park, though. The tent is the best... The tent is to... The tent is best to recover hit points. Two things. Why wouldn't you get that? Like... Maybe, maybe it's because nobody's, nobody's actually paying attention. All right. The second thing. Hit points is one word? There's an old man back here. Tackle him to the ground and ask him questions. Hello again. We often run into each other, don't we? It's the same old man all this time? Fire on the north, floods on the south. Truly a great place to live. The mystic sword is powerful. Okay, let's let's write that down, everyone. Actually, let's put it underneath Sherry. Note. To self. The mystic sword. Bullet points. It's powerful. Some guy in Montour East said so. We should have tacos tonight. And a sword. Okay, we're good. So, um, if you were climbing, yeah, thank you for coming down south to our level so that we can talk to you. Welcome to the armory. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What's going on around here? 
Uh, wow, we almost have enough for bronze armor. What does armor do? Does it just make you harder to hit? Because it doesn't stop incoming damage, that's for sure. Eh, what we need is a blowgun. Hi. Get more strength and do not depend much on your weapons. Thanks for that. Okay, low gun. This is what I wanted. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's give the blow gun to Peter. I'm not real sure how Peter ended up with the, uh, the long-range weapons, but it just happened that way. Alright, Peter. Go ahead and use the blow gun. And now we need to start building up, like, thousands of, uh, gold at a time. Did I not give the, uh, sling? No, I guess I didn't. To alien. Elian? Eli Elian. Elian. How... The mystic sword has been clipped. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm afraid to look at it. Uh, anyway. Talk, sell. For 50 gold? Hell yeah. Sorry, I went AFK to, that, to make that clip. That's cool. Uh, anything else? No. So, a quick note. Um, Ultima 3 Iron Man. This is an endurance run. I want to see how long I can do this. And my plan is to do this every Sunday. So streams are still gonna be Space Engineer almost every other day. Oh, hi, Hidden Lady. Welcome to Montor East. Fucking Christ, why is everybody happy to see me in Montor East? It's like everybody's the Walmart greeter in Mon Montor East. Let's leave Montor East, tis a silly place. I'm gonna check south first. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be normal streams, uh, except Sundays. Sundays is going to be Ultima Day. There's not much else around here. Have we seen a grocer? Uh, we're at 174 food, which isn't terrible, but I don't remember seeing any grocers around here. What do people eat? Let's play. Yeah. Yeah, that's the name of the game, buddy. Hey, you're the pub. Do you also sell groceries? Uh, no. I want, I want sandwiches. I want 200 sandwiches in my pocket. How much money do we got? We've got enough money for 200 sandwiches. Where are the 200 sandwiches? Motherfucker, I want some sandwiches. I wish I could go with you. Them is fighting words. No, seriously, I'm not fighting the guards. Guards are serious business. Like, we gotta be high up there if we're gonna fight guards. We need a lot of hit points and we need better weapons. But, that said, it will make... Sands of Time can... The Sands of Time can stop time. That's an awkward sentence, but okay. The Sands of Time are really useful. I don't remember how many turns they stop time for. Lord, Pe <laughs> Lord British wanted people to not be dicks. Yeah, retro or retro-like. Fairly retro. Hi, Blue. Tell me, what do you think of this setup, guys? Where it shows, like, my drawing and notes in, uh... In one area, we got the game in the other area. And the chat in the lower corner. You know what? There are no groceries here. There are no groceries. Let's go to Montour East. Maybe we'll get some groceries. Okay, back-to-back -back battles.
Missed. Okay, well, we're going after some groovy skeletons now. So far, we know they have uh, greater, greater than or equal to uh, 40 hit points. No, it's greater than 40 hit points, right? Because we did 40 damage and they didn't die. They do 7 to 11 damage. All right, formation. Stand firm. Holy crap, I just realized I have a flame ball? How did I not notice that? The tree is sure like soulless being staring at us. What? 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 I'm not even going to draw a face on it. Aren't those trees? Not all trees are soulless. Not all trees, Blue. Okay, what was I doing? Holding fast. Except for Peter, who was bl sending blow darts at, uh... You know what? Shoot. Um, hope that, hope that isn't, isn't gonna hurt me. He has 25 magic. No, he has 22 magic. Eh, fuck it. All right, let's do some damage. Thirty-seven hit points. We already knew that. Twelve hit points. It's not much. Okay. I was hoping to get, that's right, Techly. Techly is a gnome? No, an elven wizard. Kill 
does that. 51 hit points and he's still alive? Holy hell. Okay. They have more than 40 hit points. They have hit points greater than 51. Wow. So, okay, tough little assholes. Got it. That means that we're doing, like, in some of these, we're doing more than 51 damage. Good to know. Shit. Two of them. That's bad. That means we're only going to get one chest for this. Okay. Ghouls. Let's see here. Let's move over here, move over here. Move over here and go forward. We moved our formation a little bit, but that's fine. And... Yeah, just screw it. Why not just roll straight ahead? Flame. I want to see what how much damage Flame does. Killed the ghoul. Does it does at least 50 damage. Do you want an Earth Defense Force? Oh, you guys are trading street Steam Keys. That's going to be fucking hilarious when this goes on YouTube. <laughs> 38 hit points, so we've already known that. I only got repel. Okay, I wasted a turn there. What kind of magic do you got? Sink, Rise, Glow, Heal. Can you cast Heal on yourself? Yes, you can. Thirty-seven hit points. We already knew that. Forty hit points. We already knew that. You know what? I should give. I should buy like a bunch of knives. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that next chance I get. We're going to buy a bunch of knives for Techly and just start plinking knives at people. Also, this song is awesome. Whoa, I saw a ghoul do seven damage. That's a new low for the ghouls. Get a different color ink. You want you can dump the keys in the free games room in my Discord? You have a free games room in your Discord? I, that's actually a really good idea. Why don't I have one in mine? You only have four magic, you'll have five next turn. Every turn heals up one magic, which is good to know. Okay, you go over there, you go over there. There's that five. Let's go ahead and grab a missile at this guy. I'm very upset I'm only going to get one chest for this. Everybody's health. Wow, Morty is messed up. Get Techly in and he'll start stabbing these. Tents is a consumable? Yes, it is. Your Discord isn't linked below. Shit. You're right. <laughs> 